The other thing I'd say is that we see uh, organizations sourcing these potential solutions internally and really listening to your people about what they're spending their time on, where they feel they, they could get use of automation. That's another good way to find ideas. We find that the people often have that uh, instinct much better than, than taking a, a top level view of, of the world. And so as soon as um, some of these collaborative code editing tools or AI assisted code editing tools came online, we had engineers saying, gosh, I, I really think this is gonna save me 20, 30% of my time. Can, I, can we please use these? We had to figure out how to do that in a secure way, in a way that wasn't gonna leak our trade secrets and, and, and so on. But once we did that, we started to see some real uh, productivity gains. What I think would work is if we advised and coached individuals to say, hey, you could use AI to really improve your productivity in this space and get them fluent with the usage of AI such that they can apply AI to those areas of their job which are going to be exposed to it in any case. Now what I hope to have happen in this scenario is that people will embrace it, learn how to eliminate, if you like, almost do it self-directed, eliminate the, the components of their job that is exposed and then refocus their time on areas where it isn't exposed. Third thing you need to do is begin hiring people that are themselves AI enabled. Of course, you can't forget about your existing employees. You need to give them really vivid examples of as to how AI can help improve their jobs uh, as they're currently doing it. So I don't mean just sending them off and saying, yes, go ahead and experiment. Yes, you should do that. But a lot of people aren't gonna experiment. Um, so you need to say, look, I think we can really improve this. Let's all get together and figure out how we can change our process in order for us to get more efficient. And I think most people would embrace um, that attitude or that posture from, from employers. Which tasks are the best targets for automation with AI. And for this, I feel like I need to invent a new word. Thinking is a little like the dull sound of a brick hitting the floor. We already know what thinking is. Thinking is the other half. It's where you're not thinking, it's executing on what you've decided to do. AI does not automate the thinking component. It does automate that thinking component, that dull task where you're not really that cognitively engaged anymore. It's easy to measure how long someone has sat in a seat. It's easy to measure how many widgets they've made, how many client calls, but not the brilliance of their social interactions, not the brilliance of their ideas or how those ideas come about. So I can't help but worry that as more and more of the drudgery gets automated, and that space between creative cognitive engagement becomes emptied, that managers panic and they start firing people because they don't understand how those people work. Then they end up firing workers whose role in their businesses in the long run is really important. And these impacts take a long time to hit the economy, but are devastating when they do.